Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shadyside Library. I know I might look a little different. I retired the mohawk, rest in peace, and I shaved. Yeah, so I look a little different. But um, aside from that, I want to say thank you to everyone who gave me video recommendations in the last video. I was replying to comments, and my brain juices just started flowing, and I started thinking of ideas and writing them down, so I think I'm good to go for now. At least for the next, maybe, month? I don't know. I, I got some good video ideas that I think you guys will really like. And I'd like to start that off by doing a Top 5 Christopher Pike book video. This one I was really excited to make because y'all know I love Christopher Pike. I've read over 20 of his standalone books, not including his middle grade series. And I've never really talked about him. I've, I've done a few single reviews, but I haven't actually you know, gone out and given like my top five or anything like that. So yeah, we're going to talk about some Christopher Pike books today. But if you're not familiar with Christopher Pike, he's a young adult author who wrote lots of horror books for teens in the 80s, late 80s and early 90s, and actually some in like the very early 2000s. Anyways, they're, excuse my language, they're batshit crazy and they're convoluted and often problematic. So if you're not into that, you might not be into Christopher Pike, but I'm into that and that's why I like his books so much. He's definitely one of my favorite authors. And I will say, I own every single one of his books except for one, and that's Tales of Terror number two. And all I'm gonna say is if we sell enough bookmarks, guys, if we sell enough bookmarks, I will be able to afford that book. So you guys are just going to have to email me and buy some bookmarks, and then boom, I'll have the book, and I'll have a complete collection. Anyways, I'll show off a couple just real quick. Got some nice bats right here. I know you guys like Halloween, so there's some bats. Here's just a rainbow one, just for funsies. And... A cute little bookworm. Yep. Wonderful. Alright, enough about the bookmarks. Let's talk about some Christopher Pike. I actually did not put these in any order. I'm just going to talk about top five. It stresses me out to put them in order. So, we're just going to talk about these. And I'm going to start with a heavy hitter. Whisper of Death. I have a review of this one on my channel. You should go check it out because I go in depth about how crazy this book is. It starts off crazy and then just gets even more crazy. But uh, essentially a group of teens go on a little road trip and when they come back to their hometown, everyone is gone. And yeah, they start to discover really creepy things and then... You know, one of them gets picked off and dies, and then another one dies, and yeah, it's it's very scary, and I think this is one of Christopher Pike's best books. Just well-written, scary, and deserves a uh, movie adaptation for sure. That would be terrifying. So, go read Whisper of Death. It's a classic when it comes to Christopher Pike. Next up, some of y'all might not be expecting this one, but it's Chain Letter 2. So, the original Chain Letter, it's a ripoff of I Know What You Did Last Summer. It just is. And it just happens to involve a chain letter. And I'll, I'll be honest, it, I didn't enjoy it. I did not like the first one. But I read the second one because it was written like five or six years later. And that's when Christopher Pike started to really crank out some weird stuff. And that's what he did here. He took the concept of the chain letter with the same characters, and he threw some supernatural twist on it, and he made it way darker, way more deaths, and oh my gosh, this one was entertaining because of the craziness. So... If you read Chain Letter and you were like, eh, pick up the sequel, it is a hundred times better. Most people don't know that. So yeah, Chain Letter 2, a lot of fun. Alright, next up, I also have a video on my channel of this book. 
and that is the hollow skull. This one's kind of hard to get your hands on. I got lucky and found it cheap on eBay. I bought like 10 books and it got thrown in, but the hollow skull is one of the most gruesome young adult horror books I've ever read. Just the like imagery and like the way he describes some of these characters and like what happens to them is very gruesome and enjoyable I gotta say it like grossed me out just a tad bit but it was super entertaining but this one's essentially about a group of three who dis not discover but they decide to go down this reservoir that got unlocked in their small town and when they go down there, something happens to one of the people in their group, and then just weird stuff starts to be discovered, and it's really creepy, and yeah, you can tell just by the cover that, like, you know, things start happening to their brains and their skulls, and there's a lot of body horror in this book, and it's a lot of fun. And I will say, just real quick, as far as Christopher Pike goes, you can read the back of the book, and oftentimes, the book has nothing to do with that. Or it just goes on a completely different twist. Because that is the case for this book. You read the back of this book, and it tells you nothing about the story. It just says some craziness, and then you start reading the book, and you're like, what, what is going on? And then it takes another crazy twist, and so, yeah, the, the back of the book is not going to spoil anything when it comes to Christopher Pike, because he's constantly throwing you so many twists that you're never going to know what's going to happen next. And that's the beauty of reading his books. All right, next up, Magic Fire has the best opening scene of, I think, any Christopher Pike book. Magic Fire is creepy. It is just creepy. It's about a sinister kid. I'll tell you about the opening scene, but it's this sinister kid who's pretty much pyromaniac, and he, like, pretty much burns up this whole, like, farm town. Just first 20 pages just absolutely terrorizes it. And then it, the the uh, story takes a completely different twist and it's really nothing about you know burning things or whatever and you actually get a you get a science fiction twist in this one in which you wouldn't expect I mean it's called magic fire and there's a guy burning and you read the back of the book and it's about a pyromaniac kid and you get this science fiction twist I don't know and then you get a really convoluted ending, so don't get too mad if you don't understand the ending, because that's how some of his books are. But Magic Fire is absolutely insane, and that's why I liked it. So, another one hard that's hard to find. I got super duper lucky and found this at a thrift store one time. So, that's Magic Fire. And last but not least, Master of Murder. So this one's an exception. This one's not bad shit crazy like all the others. This one's actually a very well-told story about a kid author. And it's this kid who's like in high school and he's a best-selling author of the series that everyone is reading. It's like when The Hunger Games came out and everyone started reading it. Well, imagine if the author was like a kid at your school. Well, that's kind of how this is. And he gets all this fan mail and stuff and then someone figures out that he's the author and that he goes to this high school and they start making threats to him and he gets really scared is not sure who it is and then this, his stories start coming to life and I don't know, it's just a well-told story. Nothing like too crazy, but a very, very well-told story. I enjoyed this one. I oftentimes recommend Master of Murder to people because it's just a great book. So, that concludes my list of my top five Christopher Pike books. It's, they're probably pretty controversial. I mean, honestly, I like the weird ones, and that's what I, that's what I recommend, because that's what he writes best. So, you'll have to let me know your favorites down in the comments, and you guys will have to 
keep watch. I don't. I don't know what I was gonna say there. But I'm not gonna edit that out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.